but, you know. Congressman Scott Peters is here. He's introduced a new bill to expand telehealth services. If you don't know what that is, we're going to tell you. He's here now to tell us more about it. Good morning. But first, yes. hold that. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> you, too, ran a marathon back in the day. It's just in. Yes. The 1982 New York Marathon. When shorts were shorts. <laughs> we had many. You know? we had, oh, oh, there it is. Yeah, see. <laughs> Did you win that marathon, by the way? I, I lost in mile 15, I think. I lost to a guy named Alberto Salazar. <laughs> Oh. You want to see how, how they did it, and I just say, well, I How lost. many miles? Is that your time? 26.2. Right that was it my was... time. Holy moly, that's wow, pretty good time. Well, I was 20-something back then, too. Yeah, it helps. Yeah, look at that one. Shorts were shorts. Look at that. Yeah. I remember those days. Yeah. 26.2, <laughs> and how did you feel afterwards? I felt good. You know, I felt like I'd, um, I had something left in me, so... Uh, you know, that, that was a good way to yeah. always, always leave them wanting more. Yeah, that's it. So that was your one and only. Yeah. All right, let's t talk about this new bill that you've introduced. So the idea is that in San Diego, uh, because of Qualcomm and a lot of the other companies, we're developing a lot of technologies through wireless that can provide health care. So, you know, in, in, in this whole health care debate, debate in Washington, it's, you know, can we raise taxes and fees or can we lower reimbursements to doctors and hospitals? Yeah. But there's new technologies that are better able to deliver health care. One of them is wireless. So if you're a cardiac patient or a diabetic, your doctor doctor can monitor your cardiac behavior or your glucose levels over the cell phone. Uh, think how much money that could save, how much better care it could provide. You may not have to go to the doctor. You may not have to take an ambulance ride, a stay in the, in the emergency room. You may save a life. Uh, and uh, we want to see if we can't integrate that into the health care system, particularly for veterans. We've been seeing a little more of this. There's several uh, participating hospitals around uh -huh. the county here. They do Skype sessions right. or they do phone right. calls, uh, send in pictures. You can email to the doctors. But what do the doctors think about this? Is this doubling their workload? Well, it's better for the doctors in many ways. And in fact, I, I visited the Aspire Center in Old Town, which is a 40 bed facility for, you know, 90 to 120 days returning vets from the Gulf who need a little special attention, you know, to, to get them back on their feet. And they've been using this kind of consultation. They've been using psychologist counseling over the Internet. And it's like a Skype kind of technology. And uh, the patients love it because a lot of times the vets don't want to come in. They don't want to know, you're, you know that they're having trouble. But the doctors think have a lot more f a schedule flexibility, too. So, you know, if someone's late, uh, they may not have a hole in their schedule. You know, there's a lot of efficiencies to dealing with it face-to-face. -face. It seems like it works really well. And they also claim to be getting really good results from it. Why does this need legislation? Well, you know, it's it's. Um, I, I said the other week that uh, that Washington D.C. is where uh, innovation goes to get confused. <laughs> you know, we we don't really have a lot of ways to fit these these new round pegs into the old square holes. Mm -hmm. So what the telehealth bill for veterans would do is make sure that if a vet who's maybe in one state gets consulted by, by a doctor from San Diego, because he's got special needs, maybe the doctor has special expertise, that we can get those doctors reimbursed for that care. Uh, so that it's part of the whole TRICARE and VL, VA healthcare system. It's going to provide better care, but we have to change the bureaucracy's approach to it a little bit. And then we have to get a lot of data. We have to figure out what works in telehealth, what's really saving money, what's going to provide better care, because the whole game here is how do we provide better care and save money. It's always changing, isn't it? It is always changing. That's what's exciting about it. And with Qualcomm right here in San Diego, they're, they're behind a lot of this. They're behind it. We've got a lot of leaders in this field. Uh, and. Um, it's just a tr this is a terrific uh, place from which to bring innovation and, le and leadership to Washington, D.C. You mentioned saving money. So where does the funding come from to support uh, the technology that you need to have a program like this? Well, you know, if you're, if you're say you're a, a, a practice, a, a physician's practice, and you have a number of patients, you've got to decide kind of how you're going to uh, really manage those patients. You might buy some equipment. You might mm -hmm. buy some equipment. Uh, what we want to do is we want to provide those incentives to provide uh, doctors efficient means to provide care, things that will be more cost effective. Maybe they'll save money than in their own practice because they found out, you know what, if I can catch that diabetic patient, if I can watch that person without him coming in, uh, I can I can do better for the for the for the for the for the patient. Mm -hmm. Maybe save them the cost of, an, of a of a more expensive hospital stay. So in the end, you know, we should be shifting to technologies that save money. This is one of those technologies. And saves time as well. And time, time right? is money. Right, and better care. Yeah. And the legislation just being introduced, or where is it? At? Uh, legislation was introduced uh, last in the last year, mm -hmm. and uh, we'll hope that it works its way through committee. You know, obviously, we you know we still have that issue with Congress. We got to work together to make progress and get past the partisanship, but that's why I went, and you know, we'll tr keep trying to bring good ideas from San Diego and make it better. We did win an award for this uh, from the California Healthcare Institute for pushing uh, innovation, and so uh, some people are recognized that San Diego's got a lot to offer. All right. Yes. You going to go out and run four or five miles today, or? Something like that. Something like that? <laughs> okay. Scott, thank you.